right, so this is one very useful trick to use if you need this weedless. So the problem is that weeds wrap up here and water can't go in here and help cool down and lubricate the bushings that are in here and especially this one. So we need to put a spacer in here that gets those weeds out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a PVC uh, spacer right here and we're gonna go ahead and do that now. What we have right now is a three quarter inch uh, PVC and a one inch PVC. The three quarter fits inside the one inch and the one inch is the same diameter as this shaft. So we're gonna go ahead, I already measured it, it's 9 16 in here. So we're gonna go ahead, cut that, put the three quarter inside the one inch and then get it on there. So it's like 5 8 but I would just call it 9 16 I'd leave a little bit of a gap there, but not too much. Call that 9 16 and that's what we'll cut our PVC at. We have our PVC here. Very light mark, but it's there. Just remember to cut inside that line. Then we can go ahead, fit it inside, and I can just beat that in. Well, there it goes. So there we go, we have our spacer for right in there. These seem a little bit small, but gotta make sure it fits too. Get this just loose. This is an SPS kit and you can buy these in the SPS store, but only if you're part of the Swamp Runner, only if you get a Swamp Runner. Just wanna get it just so it's tight. Once you hear that loud ring, that's when you normally know it popped. All you're doing is just holding that tension there and whacking it off. And that sounds really bad, but that's what you're doing. So right there, put this back on. So now this spins here. So anything that gets in between here will spin off. I'm going to go ahead make a second one and just make it a hair bigger because these are too skinny. Go ahead and take a look at that. Can you see that play in there? It's a little bit too much play for my liking. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a little bit bigger of one. Now the only problem that you do run into with this is that you can no longer use your prop puller because it stops it from, from working. So that is the only downside of using this to fill that space. But I don't plan on breaking props, but who really plans on breaking props? Unless you're in like really rocky areas. One thing to keep in mind is that you can always use a sanding block or a sander or anything to actually sand them down. So you can always cut it bigger, but if you cut it too small, then it's too small and it won't work. So I'd always cut it just a little bit bigger. And then you can always use a sanding block, sanding belt, whatever you'd like to use to make it the size that you need. I don't know if you saw or not, but with using these, these are a little bit thicker than the one I just um, had on there. The problem with these is that you can't use this because it takes up the space where the shaft sits. So I'm gonna try splitting these or cutting it so that way I can snap it on and snap it off whenever I need to take the prop off. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go cut these real quick and then see if they uh, still slide over easily and if they still work. All right, so I just went ahead and used a small hand saw, cut a little groove in there. See if I can't snap these onto place or if they're too much of a pain. So this is one thing that I'm gonna try. Instead of having that whole spacer just as one, I went ahead and cut it into uh, slices so that way I can actually bend it on, and clip it on there. So that way it's removable without 
having to take the prop off. So if I have to take the prop off, I can pop all these off and then use the prop puller to pull the prop off. If I can't remove these, then I can't get the prop puller on there and it's an absolute awful experience trying to get the prop off without the prop puller. So these still spin, so we'll go ahead, we'll go out to the lake and see how this does. If it catches more grass, then we'll take it off, but this should help with weeds that build up around here. It may catch on here, it may not, but might as well go and see if it works or not. The main reason for doing it this way was so I can remove them one by one and do it till I just see the shaft so I can use the prop puller to get the prop off. So if you use the whole thing without cutting it into pieces, then it's completely weedless. I know that it works, I've done it before and no weeds will build up here or be able to catch to stop the water flow from going and lubricating and um, lowering the temperature of the bushings. If water doesn't get up in here, there's no lubrication and there's no cooling effect. So these bushings can overheat and melt and then your uh, shaft will get really sloppy and you'll start he hearing rattling. Not, it'll still run, but it just won't be as nice. You'll have a little bit of vibration and. It just won't be as pleasant. So this is to stop the weeds from bundling up and stopping the water flow. But the problem with having it here is that you can't use your prop puller to get your prop off. Now if your prop breaks, then you can go ahead and use a hammer and beat on it and crack it off of the shaft. But if you're just wanting to change out props and this prop is good, then it's gonna be difficult to get this prop off. So we'll go ahead and test it like this. If it doesn't work, then it's back to the drawing board to see what does work. So let's go test that out right now.